With September 9th being Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorders Awareness Day, parents have been asking me questions about just what fetal alcohol syndrome is and whether or not their children might have it. Well, let me give birth to some information on this topic. It turns out that alcohol is the leading preventable cause of mental and physical birth defects in the United States, not to mention is a leading cause of miscarriage and stillbirths. So what are the features that occur with fetal alcohol spectrum disorders? Well, there's not one classic feature common to all babies born when a mother drinks alcohol, but most babies affected may show low birth weight or a smaller head, developmental delay and poor weight gain, seizures and other neurologic problems, and have facial abnormalities, including smaller eye openings, flattened cheekbones, and an underdeveloped groove between the nose and the upper lip. Children with fetal alcohol spectrum disorders can have learning problems, behavioral problems, as well as poor socializing skills with others. As adults, they tend to get in trouble with the law, develop mental health problems, and have difficulty living independently. So the best way to avoid fetal alcohol syndrome disorders from occurring is to not drink at all if you are pregnant, possibly pregnant, or even thinking about becoming pregnant so the effect of alcohol is not present as the newly conceived fetus develops. Data gathered in Vermont suggests that 70% of women who are pregnant reported drinking during the three months before becoming pregnant, and this can certainly result in problems early on in a pregnancy. In fact, no one has determined what's the safe amount of alcohol to drink during pregnancy since alcohol easily passes into the fetus. We do know that mothers who do drink during the first trimester have babies with the most severe problems, since this is the time the newborn brain is developing, although it continues to develop in the second and third trimesters as well. The sooner a mother-to-be stops drinking, the better it will be for her baby and herself. If you want further information about fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, call your health care professional or Vermont or New York 211, who can route you to the appropriate program or service. Hopefully, tips like this will allow you to drink up what you need to know so you don't drink if you're pregnant or trying to have a baby. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.